Hey guys, hi! Welcome to I Am Toto Jolly. It's yet another interesting episode. So guys, apparently I keep on saying um I'll do a video, I'll post a video every day, three a week, something like that. But all the time, things come up and keep me busy that I do videos but I forget to edit. As in not even forgetting i get too busy to just even combine all my videos and edit them but i hope with time it's going to be so easy for me to just do this as in um, i'm organizing myself towards that by the way recording videos and editing and posting them is never easy it's not an easy task so if at all you see someone out there posting a video an awesome video for you every day kudos to that person because this thing this thing right here is not easy content creation is tough it's tough so guys um welcome to i am totally if you're new here welcome kindly <coughs> sorry i don't know why i have a very bad flu um i hope it doesn't distract my video today so guys, if you're new here, kindly don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe before I tell you what I'm doing in today's video. And if you've been here before, um, welcome back. You're loved, you're missed, and your girl is going to do more than enough to make sure you are entertained on this particular channel. And I am again very sorry for my delay in posting this particular video and my other videos. So guys, um, I remember like three weeks ago on my Instagram um, platforms, I did a Q&A and I told you guys um, um, I want questions that I'll answer on my next YouTube video and this is it. So today, <coughs> I have several questions from you guys here on my phone. Some of them are repeated, I will answer them as one and um, some of them are too personal, I'm sorry, I may skip, maybe I may skip your question, just know it is something I can't disclose to the general public about myself. So guys, yeah, let's do this. The first question, actually, they are not in the sequence that I received them, I just wrote down on my notebook um, the questions that I'm going to answer from both sides facebook and instagram and i arrange them in a way that i'm going to answer them i think so yeah so the first question from one of you is what is your real name um i normally use Toto Dolly on my platforms and i think in my first video my first youtube video i said it and i said why i use Toto Dolly it's not something new but my real name is dolphin so dolly is the short form of dolphin yeah dolphin or gechi whatever or gechi is my dad's name the second question is when did you start supporting football oh my that is a tough question when did i start supporting and loving football my love for football started way back in 2010 during the 2010 World Cup, yeah, I my dad, I, my dad loved watching World Cup, so I could go coil up beside him and watch it with him. I remember that is around the time when we bought DSTV in our home, which was usually not there back before. So yeah, I could coil up and just watch, and I never, I can't say that I understood whatever that was going on inside the screen but i love the way people enjoyed because he could watch it with his friends so me just sitting there seeing how excited they are each of them having their own team to support and some losing some winning the feeling of winning and the excitement brought about by winning made me become interested in this particular sport so i i think i never took it that serious and i didn't play in high school because i had very bad um asthma so i couldn't play i couldn't engage myself in senior sports so so yeah my, cam my camera glitched 
so guys i could enjoy seeing my dad watching my dad is an arsenal fan all my brothers i don't know i don't know if you guys can see me i don't know why i feel it glitching so guys all my brothers are arsenal fans and then i was like in my mind i knew arsenal is for men when i was little i started doing my own due diligence due diligence due diligence and i fell in love with chelsea football club and i became a fan of chelsea there was another question of how did i love shabana football club guys i grew up in an environment that had people who love to play football and i had friends who liked going to watch local football and just play have i told you when i was young i played football have i and the boys always chased me away <laughs> girls never used to play football i used to go my brothers and their friends would come to our compound and just start impra karatasi the football that is made of paper they could play and then i could join in and then i think i, I they used to chase me away because it is genuinely okay to just chase me away. I didn't know how to play. So whenever I had control of the ball, I couldn't tackle the person. I could push them away. Like, get out. And then I shoot the ball. So they hated the fact that I could push them. And you know, it was this chubby chubby, bubbly bubbly. <laughs> so, um, most of my homies hated the fact that even my brothers themselves could say, Oh, don't come to our games because you push us. I think that is when they love, my love for football started um, when I was young because I had brothers who loved to play football, who loved to enjoy playing football and they could come to our compound with friends, play, um, win, lose, get mad, live. The excitement that is brought about by winning is what just brought me into that football arena. And in school, when I was in class 2, which is grade 2 currently, I remember one day I was just sitting in school, watching boys play at our school. And then, out of nowhere, I don't know how distracted I was, and I just had something hit my head. Guess what? A football ball had, had just knocked me down. Because... And I remember that day, I remember I cried, I cried, I cried, and then my brothers are like, oh, sorry. And then my big brother was like mad at the person who just threw that ball towards me. And the person didn't like want to do it. It was not intentional. The ball just found me in an awkward position and just... <laughs> anyway, my love for football started long ago, and I later learned to love Chelsea. I later learned to love local football, yeah, and that is where I am right now. So, um, another question, how is our Shabana FC I had? I'm good, I'm doing okay, as you can see, I'm very, I'm very, very, very fine. I want to be a Shabana number one fan. There's no, there's no major, major, major requirement to being a Shabana FC diehard fan. You can be a Shabana FC diehard fan anywhere, any day, anytime. Literally, it's just like the way you guys support Chelsea, Manchester United, um, Arsenal, M1 City, um, Liverpool. Like, there are no major requirements. You just choose your poison and deal with it. That is what also happens in Shabana FC. You want to be a Shabana FC fan? Welcome. Any day, anytime. You want to be a Gold Maya fan? Um, um, FC Leopards fan? Um, Bitco, Tasca, whichever. Just choose your poison and dive with it. Yeah, so you can be a Shabana FC, they have fun. Anytime, any day, there's no requirement, it's not someone's property. You can just be a member anytime and you can you can join a branch that will make you feel um I don't know how I can say you can join a branch of your liking that will make you feel at home and registration for most branches in Shabana FC is five hundred shillings only and it happens annually. Yeah. So guys, um <clears throat> the fifth question is I have been texting in your DM. Please respond. So, guys, the thing here is, I rarely check my DMs. I rarely check my DMs unless there's something urgent or a business that I need to check on or answer to. Literally, I rarely check on my DMs. And most businesses that I do, 
I communicate via email. So, me checking, I don't know, my Instagram, TikTok, um, Facebook DMs is tough. Okay, when I was young, and I repeat, when I was young, I used to be excited in checking my DMs and replying. You know that excitement growing up, yeah. But right now, hey, my friend, you're just too busy to even, I don't know, I can't say I'm just too busy. Like, it's getting the time to even go check the DMs. I don't know. But I think I'll, I'll check for this particular person who did, who just responded this way. I'll go back and see your name and DM you back, okay? I got this next question. I think I got it from so many, many, many guys. So many, many individuals are asking me this. And I don't know, but I think it's something anyone can ask anyone anytime i think it's the first question that comes into your head when doing someone's q and a so this question is i received are you single are you married are you dating are you seeing someone like in different styles but all of them point at one thing are you taken so guys apparently your girl here is Oh my god okay i'm taken i'm dating i'm not married yeah but i am seeing someone i'm dating and i hope for a stronger future with this particular person so you guys your answer is answered <laughs> right i don't need to indulge so much on this particular question because what is there to say other than just say yes i am seeing someone or no i'm not seeing someone so yeah i am seeing someone the next question is i don't know why this person asked this particular question but it kept me thinking like anyway no question just asking when will you come to kenya guys i even tag the location of my photos i usually say nairobi kisi nakuru kakamega Literally, those are places found in Kenya. <laughs> Mombasa, um, Titwande. Guys, I am, I am in Kenya, so I don't have any day that I'm going to come in to Kenya because I am in Kenya. Yeah. The next question is, Dolly, can we be close friends forever, please? This particular question, I don't think I'll stalk, I'll stalk you after this, after I'm done shooting this video. But I think there is no particular, no, there is no particular um, way to put this. Okay, guys, someone wants to be your friend. I think we'll just begin by saying hi, hello, how was your day? I don't know. You just begin by speaking, checking up on someone, clicking, sometimes meeting up for lunch, dinner, um, games, anything that, hobbies that each and both of you like. If you guys click them, so be it, be friends. And if you don't click them, you move on to the next chapter. So for this, I don't know how to answer it because I am open to friendships. I am open to having as many friends as I can, as long as they don't affect my mental health. Because sometimes you can have as many friends as you wish, but some of them don't come to you with the correct purpose that you intend to have from a friend. Like some of them come to destroy you, some of them come to stalk you, and some come genuinely to just want to be your friend. So finding that one person out of a thousand who genuinely loves and supports you and wants to be your friend is the trickiest part, but I'm open. I'm open to having friends any day anytime uh-huh next question um how old are you how old are you and will you date a guy like me are you at your right age for marriage i think how old are you and are you at your right age for marriage i'll answer the latter and not the former um i'm, I'm above 18 which is the right age for marriage and now i'm dating um i won't date you <laughs> i am seeing someone with a very high potential of marriage <laughs> 
Hello. Yeah. So, um, how old am I? That's a question for another day. But I'm old enough. I'm old enough. Yeah. Why do you love Shabana so much? Okay, it began my love for local football and then I needed a club that I can identify with. I think immediately after high school. I wanted a club that I could easily identify with, that is within my locality. By then Shabana was in Division 1. But I was still at school and once I was done, I remember it was a playoffs with Mwatati at Kasarani. That is the, the first major, ma major Shabana match I attended. Yeah. And I just fell in love with the club. Like that, we won actually against Mwatati and were promoted to the National Super League. And we, we overstayed in the National Super League. You all know, we actually overstayed. But we did suffer, like we are suffering right now. But who is God? We overstayed and finally we were promoted to the Kenya Premier League where we are just trying to survive so that in the next season we will be now back to what Shabana is. But I just pray and hope we get our way of course. God. We need that way. We need that turn. We need to just we do, we don't need to go back to the national super league. So actually, I can't I can't say why I love Shaban FC, but for me, I think I needed something that I could connect with. A sport I loved football, so I needed a part where I could easily connect with, and my love began for Shabana. Same to Gusi FC when it started. Uh, Shabana was in the National Super League, Gusi FC was in Division 1. We tried the nights in the National Super League and I pray one day it goes to the Kenya Premier League. So, I found a connection and I am here and I can't explain much about it. But one day when I do a sit down with maybe some of my other fans of Shabana FC, I think I'll elaborate more. I don't think this video, I should just spend a lot of time in it talking about Shaban FC but yeah I found a connection and that is why I love Shaban FC it brings out the best in me it brings out the best part in me I think whenever I feel low and I just attend a Shaban FC match whether we lose or draw or win I accept all outcomes and I just feel that sense of that sense of I don't know I can't even explain it I just feel good attending Shabana matches is therapeutic I tell you one day try it and you will never go back yeah it's just therapeutic and once you become a diehard fan you are forever a diehard fan the next question how can you empower or advise people with talents but they're afraid of showing up because they're just afraid fear fear I don't know I don't know I read this question and um, I was like it has a deeper, a deeper, a deeper meaning that I wish I was at a talk show with some of my friends so that we can elaborate it better. So guys, one thing about fear, it can never go away. It can never go away and everyone in this life has a fear, has a kind of fear, either it is known or unknown. But should we let that fear overcome who we are? No. <laughs> Sorry, I thought my video is not recording and I've never felt so heartbroken. So guys, should we let that fear overcome who we are? No. Should we get a way to overcome this fear? Yes. Guys, let me tell you, this person has a talent. He has just asked, how can you empower or advise people with talents but they are afraid and align the keyword afraid of showing up because they are just afraid you have a talent I don't know I don't remember who wrote this if it's a lady or a boy or a man sorry but one thing you should know you yourself know that you have a talent that you need to put out there actually in our current generation talent pays we all know that 
talent pays social media pays actually everything pays it just want it just what do you want to do with this thing how do you want to put it out there in the world how do you want to survive with this talent okay if you have a talent and you feel like this thing will take me far this thing will take me far if i do this thing if i work well with this thing i'll go far with it do it do it let me tell you one thing you can do videos like youtube videos and you get one view two views three views 50 views a million views no matter what amount of views everyone even those who get a million views started with just one view so guys if you get that fear of coming like oh why am i doing this video and only five people watch at the end of the day there's someone, some, there's someone somewhere who wishes to get those five loyal viewers. There's someone somewhere who wishes to get who wishes to get those five amazing people who support you even on your lowest. It starts with overcoming the fear, doing it, and finally boosting it up. So if you have a talent and you're still afraid of showing it up, why don't you just begin with doing it like the way I'm recording this video alone in the house? with my camera enjoy doing it watch yourself do do your talent record your talents watch yourself and then finally gain the courage invite a friend or two two people that you trust perform in front of them um get their opinion slowly by slowly slowly by slowly you get there overcome the fear start by overcoming that fear and never let fear get unto you because fear is there, fear is there for everyone, everyone, even the strongest person you see out there has a fear. But did they let it, did, did they let it overcome them? No, they got rid of it. Start by letting rid of this fear and get your talent out there. And wherever you are, I, I support you 100%. Do it and let me know once you, once you let that talent out call me to come and see this amazing person that you are yeah another question i just want to be your friend on whatsapp please please and then you send your number actually i i rarely i rarely communicate with people that i meet online on my whatsapp on my personal whatsapp except those that maybe we meet in groups in whatsapp blah 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 but still i rarely interact but since it's a request from one of you then why not i actually um will take that number dm you on your whatsapp after this video is up and tell you it's me and yes we will be friends okay okay would you really like to do a video with me lol it's been a year since i posted on my channel imagine i have no problem i have no problem doing a collab with just anyone who wants to do a collab with me because if you can look at my youtube channel i'm also a growing youtuber it's not like i'm that perfect it's not like i'm perfect right so um i'm open to collabs i'm open to just doing random videos with all of you all those who wish to do videos with me i'm 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 open yeah so whatever this is dm me and make a plan make a date and we'll shoot a video yeah um do you still work out imagine i don't know how to say this i never work out literally i normally don't work out and if you see a video of me working out is when i try to make an attempt of working out and it fails by making an attempt is sometimes i just sit down and tell myself oh dolly you really need to work out you really need to turn up that body i wake up dress up and go to the gym and pay a monthly <laughs> and pay for monthly subscription for the gym and then now i start motivating myself day one day two day three and done yeah that is me <laughs> so i can't even say that is going to that is working out because it happens maybe two or three times in months 
Yeah, and those are the videos and photos you see on my timeline. So yeah, I, I don't work out. I really don't. But I want to get the motivation and do this. And oh, I had told you earlier, I have an asthma problem. So most of the time when you see me giving up is when my chest becomes congested and I really can't even do it anymore. So I give up easily. Yeah, but I, I look for a, a solution. Next question, which tribe are you from? Um, guys, I am a kissy. I am proudly a gusi, omogusi, a kissy, a tribe in Kenya. Yeah, that is me. Why YouTube? This question was just two words. Why YouTube, guys? I actually don't have a major reason as to why I do this, but I love taking photos, I love recording videos, and most importantly, I love memories. Guys, sometimes I go back to my past videos, watch them and see the growth I have come with. Um, sometimes I watch them and see, ah, I was this way before, ah, this was my house this one time, I used to live here, I used to love doing this. As in, imagine, it's, it's fun watching yourself and the things you say. I love memories and I love creating memories for myself. So, and the best platform that you can create memories and get to earn from those memories is YouTube. Imagine as easy as that. You just record yourself doing your things, enjoying um, what you do, taking photos, taking videos, editing and posting for future reference, for memories when you grow old, but you get paid still by them. Yeah, so that is why YouTube. Next question, your biggest fear. Guys, <laughs> I don't know. But I really know the answer to this question. My biggest fear in this life is failure. Yeah. I fear being a failure. I really try my best every day to try and work and try and earn that chilling. Because at the end of the day, the enemy is poverty. I fear failure. I want to be the best. I want, you know those words of affirmation? I want to be the best. I want to be rich. I want to my kids to enjoy the life that I admired. My parents gave me the best life. Actually the best that they could manage. I also want to give my kids the best of the best. More than what they make, more than what my parents did for me. Yeah. They overcame failure and got me to where I am today. I still want to overcome failure. Yeah, so that is actually my biggest fear. And my next um, question was, what motivates you to work hard, guys? I think my answer for this has been answered in my previous question of my biggest fear. Whatever motivates me to work hard is just to have an amazing life, um, to be able to afford my bills, um, to be able to afford what you know that thing of sometimes you just sit down and say I feel like eating pizza I want to I don't want to feel like eating pizza I want to when I think of something I go for it because I can afford that life so any day I think I'm going to become a failure I just wake up and do this I wake up and do this as in I have to work hard if I want my future to be what I want it to be, then it starts with you working hard. Yeah, that is what motivates me to work hard. Fear of failure. Next question is, what could you change about yourself if you called? What could I change, my, what could I change about myself if I was given a chance? If I was given a chance to change something about myself, that would be nothing. I know most of you wouldn't expect that kind of an answer, but believe me, it will be nothing because why? Imagine I don't regret anything I've done in this life. Sometimes, um, what you do today shapes your tomorrow. 
what you skip today you'll do it tomorrow so um those mistakes you make today are built you built you for a better tomorrow so um and the way i am the way i look i I was treated by God and I am so proud. I love, I love myself. I love the way I look. I love the way I talk. I love the way I, I am, basically. So I wouldn't want to change anything about myself, but I would want to better myself. Mm -hmm. Any negative impact I made in my life before, I would want it to be a positive one coming tomorrow. But I won't regret that, that I made that negative impact yesterday because it shaped me to see this was wrong and I need to do this the right way. Yeah, so guys, if I was given a chance to change anything, anything in my life, that would be nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh, your favorite movies to watch. My favorite movies to watch literally every day, all the time, anytime will be Korean dramas. My friend, I hate Korean movies, Korean dramas, Korean everything. Actually, I don't. I, I don't understand Korean language, but I watch. I watch the movies using the subtitles they give in each movie. And let me tell you, those guys can put you in a real life action, like real life romance, real life um, drama. You just feel it. You just watch the movies and you feel like yeah, 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 yeah. You can relate it with anything real and. I really love, I really love that drama. So yeah, those are my favorite movies to watch. I'm almost done with my questions. I may not answer some of your questions, cause some of you, cause as I said, they're too personal. So I am remaining with like one, two, three, four questions to go. And I feel like my video is too long. Anyway, um, next question: Do you like or dislike surprises? I, I like them and I dislike them in what way. I like beautiful surprises. I love them. I love positive surprises and then there are these surprises that how oh, damn are not beautiful. I, I don't know if you guys can get me but yeah I love good surprises and I dislike bad surprises. If you get it, if you don't get it, forget about it. Next question, if money was not an object, what would you do all day? Guys, if money was literally not an object in this life, I would sleep, sleep every day of my life. I would eat, drink water, sleep, eat, drink, sleep, eat, I don't know, I swear, my love for sleep. <laughs> Next question is a question I really thought why are people not asking me this because most asked me in my DM but in the Q&A no one asked until when it was remaining like an hour for my Q&A to expire someone was like why do you love crocs so much? Why do I love crocs so much? Guys have you ever like had that shoe that gives you the comfort any day and time like you're comfortable in in any place you are in wearing them they're just so comfortable they're not heavy they're not hectic to wear like you just enjoy wearing them going to them and that is me i love crocs i love crocs i have shoes i have shoes but i always choose crocs any day, any time. I'm that person, I'm that lady. <laughs> when it's not a very important occasion, maybe like work, interviews, um, official uh, places, I, Tito Doli, can go with Crocs to church, school, exam room, um, weddings, uh, funerals, everywhere with Crocs. And I have almost all colors of crocs yeah that is me my final question why do you love taking photos and videos i think i've answered that i don't know why i didn't connect it with the other question i love making memories i love taking photos literally i enjoy taking photos of myself so much i 
enjoy posting my photos and most of the time I treat my social media handles as my 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 storage for photos and videos because literally I may lose my phone I may lose my phone god forbid anytime any day but my social media handles will always be here I can come and maybe I lost my phone and all the photos in it or back my my iCloud backup get backups of all the photos but I can easily find them in my social media handles YouTube for videos I create videos for memories as I said and I always come back maybe I want to watch uh, maybe this day I went to this particular place how was it I just come sometimes I just sit down and watch my videos I just I just enjoy rewatching my videos I don't know why but I love watching my videos and seeing where I'm coming from and where I'm headed to. So guys, um, that is it for my Q&A. Till next time. Yeah, so um, if you loved it, kindly comment down below and ask questions. Maybe I'll do a next Q&A in two months. And I may go through the comments and find a question that needed to be answered. But I did answer it in this particular video. And... Um, comment like share share to your friends and i hope you really enjoyed watching this video till the end so guys till next time it's your girl to bye